I'm Deep Mahaman and you're watching The Redman TV. Hello and welcome to the newly rebranded Comments Below Match Reaction. Yes, that's right, the Comments Below Match Reaction. So after every Liverpool game, I'll be giving my own sort of match reaction in the immediate aftermath of the game. I'll be pulling comments from the YouTube comments section on that video every single week to bring you this, the Comments Below Match Reaction. So let's get stuck into it, hey? Uh, we've got Zahin. It's like Moreno really wanted to apologise for that mistake at the Etihad. Well, buddy... Apology accepted. Um, yeah, Zion, absolutely spot on, mate. I've read hundreds of comments in the aftermath of the Spurs game, and the main theme is that Moreno could be the best left back we've had at the club, and the missing left back since John Arnaurisa. Uh, and I, I can't agree more, to be honest with you. Uh, next comment is Arju. Sacco and Lovren look shaky at times, but overall a great performance from the lads. The only speed Moreno knows is rapid. It's right, man. He is absolutely quick as feck, isn't he? Uh, unbelievable. He just gets that ball, and I saw a stat somewhere that he ran 117 yards for that goal. So that's including the pressing down, the win and the tackle... And then the about 70, 80 yards that he runs with the ball at his feet completely ignores Danny Sturridge and puts it into the bottom, uh, bottom keeper's bottom left, of course. Um, just pick up something else there on your comments. Sacco and Lovren look shaky at times. I agree with that one, to be honest. There's a lot, lots of calls for uh, Sacco and Lovren um, actually playing a really good game. But I think first off, they looked really, really shaky. And for me, it was probably Sacco in particular. Um, now, I, I'm a, I, I really rate Sacco, but his passing yesterday was too laboured. And it was really off, do you know what I mean? But anyway, Alfie Cousins... An amazing performance from the Redmen. The front three of Sterling, Sturridge and Ballow looked deadly. Moreno was also class. The one negative I would have is the sheer amount of defensive errors which gave Spurs their chances. All in all, a great performance. You'll never walk alone. Again, well said, Alfie. Do you know what I mean? There were some major, major positives. And I think going forward, that's what the diamond brings us, isn't it? Uh, but as you say, the negative is the defensive errors. And we saw that at times from both Lovren and Sacco. I think um, in the lead up to one of Adebayor's chances, Lovren goes into Sacco's area and tries to win the ball. And there's no need for him to do that, is there? Um, so I think that's a defensive error. Anyway, Stu K, seven, three goals and Jennifer Lawrence tits in one day. What a day. Kernock Scouser, the missus had said that if Liverpool continue to play like they did today, she's going to ban me from watching them. As unlike Viagra, this high isn't wearing off and she needs some kip. Kernock Scouser, put it away, man. Leave the missus alone. She doesn't want you inside of her. <laughs> Uh, XNZR fucking boss performance Moreno and Raheem the dream Sterling was unreal shame the international break has to come just as we start to perform it's true but I think Kernock Scouser's miss is probably glad of the international break isn't she uh, FC Galacticos great performance by Mario should have scored at least one but who cares 3-0 is what matters we are a team not a one man team well said man look there's a lot of focus on Mario Balotelli going into this game and after the game of course um, and we should focus on Mario Balotelli as a top player and we got him for a top price but let's remember that Mario Balotelli wasn't the standout performer yesterday the standout performers so far this season have been the players that were here last season do you know what I mean Raheem Sterling Daniel Sturridge Jordan Henderson players like this these, these are the crooks of our team and let's not forget that but if Balotelli takes some of the pressure away from those players albeit they can shine even more do you know what I mean so that's brilliant for us Webby 2789 part of that performance were exactly what Rodgers has been wanting Gerard picking up the attacking fullbacks fast possession play loads of chances and a deserved clean sheet um, again Webby well said mate um I think Gerard picking up deep is, a, is an integral part of the way that we play football. That being said, I think his long passing was a little bit off yesterday. And as such, he was probably slated a little bit in some of the comments. Uh, I think needlessly so. But, you know, he can't, he can't hit 50-yard balls every time on the money. Although, for the last three years, he pretty much has been doing that, hasn't he? Um, but attacking fullbacks, that's where it is at the moment. Look, Manquillo and Moreno had two great games, didn't they? Moreno more than Manquillo, obviously, for the goal. Um, I think we've got a real player there. And there's some comments and laughing at Man United about paying 30 million for that fat lad Luke Shaw, do you know what I mean? And I think we know now why Liverpool were after Alberto Moreno all summer long and, and I'm so glad that we got our man I really am like uh, David Sarah Evans bit of a strange name I hope that's a shared account uh, Lovren was amazing ran the defence yeah um, 
David Sarah, not not sure I fully agree with that one, to be honest. There, there was a lot of calls, don't get me wrong, I might be in the minority here to say that Lovren wasn't amazing. I thought he had a, a, an OK game. There was a few defensive errors, I thought, from him positionally um, and passing-wise as well. But, you know... Um, to be fair, the lad he made some fantastic tackles and some and he got in some good positions then afterwards and especially recovery tackles and I think his pace helps him out a lot there. But you know he's not scared of going in in the box either and he's, his technique as a tackler is undoubted. Um, Tommy two shoe eight eight eleven Spurs got kapooied on by the Reds. You'll never walk alone. Yes, they did, Tommy. Yes, they did. We kapooied all over their faces and then wiped our cock on them as well. It was lovely to watch. Match, wasn't it absolutely lovely? Uh, James Ward, get in. Moreno was sensational. Looks one hell of a signing. Loads of pressure on us today, but we delivered big time. Uh, I think that's something that nobody else has really picked up on. James, actually, the fact that there was tons of pressure on us going in there because after losing to Manchester City, everyone was sort of a little bit down in the dumps. Obviously, Man United losing to MK Dons helped it out a little bit there. Um, but, you know, the Liverpool fans were a little bit down the dumps and we were starting to worry because, you know, we do, we're, we're Scousers and we're Liverpool fans and you do worry about what your team's going to do. And I think that, that going into the game, we were thinking three points from nine is not a good start to the season and Chelsea look on fire. Um, so it was important that we set down a marker and a, a ground that we did unbelievably well in last season. And I think that the, the pressure to overcome that and the way that the way that we produced the 3-0 victory um, just shows you a lot about our team again and, and, and that means that I, I can be bloody happy going forwards, you know what I mean? And not worry about it as much. Uh, Ray Jones, guys, stop deluding yourselves. Mario is not a unique talent. Good player, but not world class. The chances he had, Suarez would have buried them without breaking a sweat. Let's keep realistic. He will not be here for that long. Must keep planning ahead. Wow, Ray, man. I, I, I do understand your point, but we've just won 3 0, man. And have a little bit of excitement, get a little bit happy, do you know what I mean? I, I understand that warning of, of what might come um, and, and thinking about it and planning for the future is obviously a good thing, do you know what I mean? But let's be honest, Mario Balotelli wasn't the best player yesterday, and we won 3 0. And I think a lot of that's to do with the fact that the defenders were worried about him, you know, and playing two up top. He gives us the option to do that in the same way that I don't think Ricky Lambert does. So. You know, yes, he might not have had an amazing game. He clearly isn't match fit. Otherwise, I just don't think would have taken him off after 60 minutes. I mean, he was blown out of his arse after a few minutes. But fair play to the lad because he tracked back well. He worked really bloody hard for the team. And I don't think you can criticise him as much, but that's just me, do you know what I mean? That's your opinion, right? And you're entitled to it. Authentic cards. Gerard is replaceable. Was shite today. Giving away possession too much. Luckily, it was Spurs, not Chelsea. His long balls were abysmal and short passing. Not on point. Wow. Um, fair play. Like I, Again, I don't think Gerard needs to come in for that much criticism. I think he made some good tackles yesterday. He recycled possession well when he was on short passing. Yes, I can't disagree with you. His long passing was off yesterday. But, but again, I come back to the point that Steven Gerrard didn't have a great game. Um, I don't think he had a bad game. Um, and look, Mario Balotelli didn't set the world on ice, yet we still managed to dick them 3-0. Um, and that's testament to the strength and depth in our squad, and most importantly, the strength in our team. Uh, it's about time we can probably get through a game and win convincingly without Gerard firing on all cylinders. So I, for one, am happy about that, and I don't think there's anyone in the squad that can play his position as well as him just yet. And finally, the comment of the week. Uh, I really like this comment. Uh, George Dennis, did Suarez leave? Just looks different and younger and quicker to me. Raheem! Love it! Raheem Sterling was the man of the match yesterday for me. I thought he was absolutely brilliant. He tore their defence apart. The space that was created by Balotelli and Sturridge just left loads of space for Raheem. That run, I mean, it's been covered in all outlets, but um, I think... Brendan Rodgers covered it best, didn't he? He ran like Ricky Villa and finished like Ricky Gervais. I mean... Can you say it any better than the man himself, Brendan Rodgers? I don't think so. And I think that's a good place to end this video. The first rebranded comments below match reaction. Anyway, give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the video and leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts because I will be checking them out throughout the day and replying as and when is necessary and possible. Anyway, have a good day, guys. I've really enjoyed doing that one. Thank you very much for your comments on my match reaction. Heart beating.
Liverpool from England, the best team in if the world. Just joined us. It's 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 like Liverpool are about to be put into. Come on, Reid, let me Come on, Lines. Do us a Come on, Reid, lad, lad. Come on, Car Lines. Come on, mate. We always do us a yeah. fucking solid, lad. Group B. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. In group B. Have that. Liverpool in Group B of the Champions League. We're back, baby. We're back. 